bringing these players now then. Hello. Hi. Hello, hold on one second, let me just adjust your volumes, make sure everyone's all... Uh, yeah, we've got... Volume. Got... <laughs> Defoe as well. Defoe is coming in as well, okay. Yep. Okay. Just... Hello. <laughs> Congratulations on your win. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very well done, I'm gonna... I'm... <laughs> Defoe played best. <laughs> yeah, I played the best. I was, I, I was a, I'm a, I'm a like, I'm a joy bringer though, so I, I did well for the team. Who's the foe? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm a IKEA certifo. Okay, okay. Like, Bench the foe. I just use oh. IKEA because I'm Swedish. Uh, how, how come? How comes that? Uh, Ares Rising Court ban. Always, always fans, always. You have a good time when you're playing games. Oh yeah, yeah. we love it, man. That's what it's all about. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna write your names up on the screen, but what stands though? Absolutely fantastic play from you guys. Really, I think you've impressed a lot of people there. You made a very big point about a lot of doubters. Yep. I yes, indeed. I don't, I don't know whether you um, know or not, but you also won me a tenner. Oh uh, yep. Yeah. No bet, problem. Because I bet on you. <laughs> Wait. Gonna, gonna... Did you seriously do that? Yep. Oh mm. my God! Cheers. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm the one saying cheers. You've you've, uh, you've hooked me up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm more, I'm more glad that I made Caesar so poor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, I think you should be paying them a commission. Honest. Yeah. Well, mm. this is their commission. This is their, this is their chance to publicise themselves. Uh, show show us that they're not just a, a great team, but also a great bunch of lads and maybe ladettes. I don't know how. Uh, how your team's made up. Mm -hmm. But, um, okay, so, pretty pleased? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was it the score you were expecting when you went into the match? Uh, yeah, in a way. I was. I knew it was going to be close to a good clan, so... Doesn't get I, was, it, doesn't I, was, get I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't, <laughs> ex I wasn't expecting them to wipe the floor with us, or... Oh, I'm yeah, just like the floor like a, them. a clean round at first as us. Yeah, I'm yeah. just I'm just saying like I didn't play today, but like I I expected it I expected it to be a really close match, but I I like actually believed that we were gonna win. Um, because we've been training and practicing really hard for this match because we saw this match that it is a way to prove to people that we are a good clan. It's not just like random that we are on top because we are a good clan so we're practicing a lot for this clan war and now it paid off mm -hmm. it, it definitely paid off um but i mean you know i don't i don't i don't want to be a killjoy or anything but like for example we just had a tweet in right now from black tide saying uh, and i'll quote i'll quote a quote unquote um i hope you don't take offense but he said nothing has been proven by that match yet again two <laughs> bad teams playing each other I mean, what, how does that make you feel when you get that kind of like response? I enjoy the hate. <laughs> like, I, uh, I, I've been speak. I've spoken to Black Tide sometimes, so no disrespect to him, really. Okay, so you're, you're, you're not bothered by that. You, 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 you... I'm not. I'm not per personally. I'm not bothered by it. I, I find it a bit <laughs> pleasing how some people just thinks that we're still a bad clan. It's just, um, if he thinks that we haven't proved anything, then it's like, sure. Um, sure, he can he can think that we're bad, but for me and I think for all the Agent Court members, um, we feel like we proved something, and that's what it's all about, pretty much. Mm -hmm. I, I I respect that. Um, <laughs> do you do you see uh, where they're coming from? In your, do do you think they have got any sort of point? I mean, like for example, uh, we can look at the league table. Out of the top ten. How many of those teams have you played? Well, this is the top 10 from week 7. We've got AE, Castellans, Wonwookie, Aquila, Irish Rebels, SBO, Legend, Funds the Emperor, PE, and Saracens. Oh, sorry, not, not, not Saracens. <laughs> PE. Um, how many of those have you played? You played PE, I believe you beat them, right? Uh, no, we played them in a training match, but... You haven't played them in a game? Yeah. No, not in a WNL match, no. Um, what about uh, Legend? Nope. We didn't Emperor? play any of them. Funds the Emperor? No, we haven't played any of them, I don't think. So, so do, you, do you see the point that they're making? Like, you're in second place, but you've not played any of the, the, the other teams that are in the top ten. Kind yeah, of, but that's yeah, basically but... the system failing. And all it's, yeah, yeah, I don't, that's the thing. I don't think any of the teams are really blaming you. Um, mm. But, I mean, you know, from your perspective, I can understand that, that might be a bit frustrating because, I mean, you said, you tweeted and you said consistently that you want to prove yourselves. 
Yeah, and today we believe we have in most aspects. We we feel like we've proven ourselves. Are like... she okay? This has to be higher up the up the table than this as well. Yeah, they're a really good clan when it comes to teamwork, in my opinion. Yeah, they set up some wicked crossfires tonight, and they punish you in a couple of rounds, pretty heavily. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, what this means in terms of the league is that you've got a pretty big chance to prove yourself next week. <laughs> <laughs> when you yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're playing as AE. Uh, yeah. What is yeah. AE versus oh. IG? Yeah, and how did it end? A one. So you'll be you'll be against AE for the the title of the WNL. Lovely. Oh, wrecked my and for easy. <laughs> <laughs> and for t-shirts. Lovely. Yeah. Um, Yay. But I mean, the thing is, you know. Okay, nobody expects you to be AE. I mean, that is just that's just a fact. I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody, no, nobody is not a team that expects you to be AE because everyone considers AE to be the best team. Um, they are, they are, but it's... we have a chance. And you, okay, well that's what I'm coming to. Please uh, bet uh, on us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might not bet real money on you, but... Um, <laughs> but this is definitely a big chance for you to prove yourselves. But I mean, the, the thing is, though, even if you don't beat AE, you know, nobody else would beat AE. If AE are the, the favourites and the, they're expected to beat everyone, so even if you don't beat AE, it doesn't mean that you'll be a bad team anyway. So, I, I mean... Uh, it's just those sort of those high level teams, sort of the top ten kind of level teams. It's a shame you haven't had a, a much of a chance to play them because I think that's where you could really uh, make very strong points. But you know, we'll see against A. Maybe maybe you've got a chance. Um, yeah. What's your plan going into the game with A now? That obviously you just come out of a match. Strong training. <laughs> You're gonna be working uh, hard. Have to make the plan this week. Yeah, we'll be working very hard this week. Yeah, we'll probably be working even harder than we have done this week. Now how hard did you work this week? Uh, pretty hard. We had only two days where we didn't have a clan war. Okay. That that was Monday and Friday. Right. I've been playing a lot of CS:GO to get my <laughs> feeling up. <laughs> <laughs> You've been opening a lot of boxes. But well, you, you have to play a lot of CS:GO, CSGO to prepare for bench warming this well. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like I said, I I've been here in this clan war. Like I've been in spectator, but I've been I've been the joy bringer today. <laughs> I've, I, every time someone got an important kill, I screamed. For example, like when Malik <laughs> played well, I was like, "Well done, Mel! Well done!" <laughs> like I, I cheered, I cheered. So. Yeah. And does that does that help you? Does that motivate you when you're playing the game? Is that a good thing, uh, zombie? Does oh, it? Well, sometimes. Yeah, yeah sometimes. Pretty as long cons. as it's not as long as it's not over the uh, leader, we're okay. not really that fussed. It's just. Uh, the leader's mic isn't that loud compared to the foes when he's screeching about <laughs> someone. <laughs> Get that team speaker just volume going. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I thought you were the leader zombie. Who, who's your battle lead then? Uh, Boglia. Boglia. Okay. Mm. Uh, Boglia wasn't in your team at the start of the season, I, don't, I believe. Um, he did. Uh, I think we played the first two games without him, and then he came in okay. after week two. Because he's he's known as playing um, previously a nameless. Where's he from? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, he's Finnish. Finish. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He was in TNT before, so he, uh, he's, obviously, yeah. he's he's obviously a very experienced player. Yeah. Uh, someone who's he a, lot, is. a lot better known in the native scene, perhaps compared to some of you guys who are more known in mercenaries. Yeah. Yeah. Um. What What has he offered to the to the team for you guys, in, in your opinion? I mean, uh. oh, Glare, Like, if I can say, like, um, he's a really good commander. He has a lot of clan war experience when it comes to native and the native maps and everything. Right. So he's a very good at commanding because he knows what to do in these maps and in certain situations because he's been through a lot. So he's really experienced, and that helps the team a lot, really, when it comes to tactics. Okay, that's good. To mm. Um, how did he come to join your team? Out of interest. I mean, did you just did you know him already, or? Yeah, yeah, we've been knowing him for a long time. He's a mercenaries he... player. He was yeah. <laughs> one of the first admins on the mercenaries team. I believe. Okay, okay. He's pretty much the best cab in Merc, if you ask me. Okay. Um, all right then. Well, yeah. tell us a little bit about um, how it went down when you were seven seven. Everything was on the last round. <laughs> yeah. What, what was what? What kind of was your attitude at that point? Were you panicking? I, were you screaming? No. We were kind of calm. Friend. We Defoe were was screaming. Defoe was yeah, screaming. Yeah, no, no, like, no, no, no. I, I'd say we were really calm, but I was, I was a bit stressed out because I, um, I didn't really see how it was gonna go. So I was really stressed, but I don't think I screamed too much. I mean, uh, but to come that far well, and sort of know that you, that you could lose everything just at that moment, it must yeah, be, must be minutes. pretty intense. Oh, yeah, Menes, at, at the start, Menes was like, "Oh, we'll win this guys like so easily," and I thought, "Well, he could be right." 
Mm. And turned out he was. <laughs> although, although it was, Bar Player as a as a commander at that point was really calm and just made us pretty calm. Yeah, I think you, you I think you do have to be though. To be honest, I mean, if anything else, and you've just given the game away at that point, so. Yeah, he uh, he controlled the crowd with his pre <laughs> like his his calm approach his to the leading. Total and Zen it, mind. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. To, to to be honest, um. I, I was pretty nervous the whole match and I, at the final round I didn't even know that it was the final because like when we won that <laughs> round I was like oh my god well played wait did we won oh oh right. <laughs> <laughs> still getting used to the native match format as well then I guess just a little bit so, yeah I mean in, uh, when you play a clan war for example in mercenaries which we are most used uh, used uh, is okay. uh, okay. it's five rounds each spawn okay so yeah. you play twenty rounds yeah. yeah yeah you prefer that or the sixteen. 16 for, uh, yeah, for me anyway, yeah. Yeah, I prefer 16 because um, time is money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in 16 rounds, more than enough to work out which is the better team, isn't it, really? Surely most of the time. Yeah, 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 of course. 20 rounds can kind of drag on a little bit. Um, uh, Alright then. Mm -hmm. Fair play, fair play. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, um, what was I going to mention? Something else. Uh, Aaron, do you have any uh. questions? Oh yeah, I was um, wondering who who in your team you felt um, played better than usual today. Malik. Malik. No, 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 no. no. Malik's no. always good. Yeah, he's not better than usual. Malik is always playing that good. <laughs> he was really good today. He was definitely I, absolutely fantastic. I would yep. say though, I I was surprised by zombies archer skills actually. Uh, what? I got one kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I, and, and that was surprising. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, but seriously, I think I I wasn't surprising. I was surprised by you actually like playing fairly well because you teamed worked as an archer mm. quite well today, zombie. Mm -hmm. And you usually doesn't play archer. You usually play in for cav. The mic is gone. I'm it's back. back. Now. Okay. It's back. Uh, sorry about that technical hitch. I was just turning off my mm. heater because my feet are sweating. Um, Rip. Yeah, I think Malik mm. was fantastic. Who who was that? What's his name? I've got, I forgot. I've gone blank now. Bert was it? Bert. And Bert, yeah, oh, he was yeah. sick. Yeah. He was really Always. good today. Mega Man, you played you played really great. Um, there's a brilliant stuff as Cat there. And and me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you kept the bench warm. Thank you. I think oh. I almost flew in fire, but. But I mean, we're, there, there was some great great play coming out from uh, 3OK as well. I mean, Elune was Elune was great. Uh, yeah. And what what play? What name was Oliver Queen. Nero playing on the? Who? Rinero. At first we thought yeah. like he isn't here, but I'm I not think sure. he played today. I'm not sure. I'm not <laughs> sure but Grenade was playing good today. Grenade yeah, was good, but Grenade's always pretty good. But I mean, Oliver Queen was just like yeah, oh. the whole. Match. Yeah, those. I mean, those two headshots in the tower. Yeah. Two headshots in a row. Like, I was, was I was not even believing it. <laughs> He's just like devastatingly scary. Um, yeah. Even alone <laughs> against six people, he was like threatening you, like making you work. Yeah. So that's made me cry. <laughs> I cried. Other than that, Every I, time. I do want to mention um, the very first round. Mm. Uh, I felt wait, like wait, I f yeah no, the, the draw. Wrong. I felt like you you sort of threw that away a little bit. I mean, you moved off the flag, and then it started yeah, dropping. We were telling them to get back on, but by that time, right. it was the end. So we just is, let mines take it. Is is that <laughs> is that a problem you have? Um, Sometimes, like, some players not being too familiar yeah. with the flag mechanics, that sort of thing. Yeah, sometimes you see um, the players going away from the flag in melee, and I'm, right. I'm just like, shouting at them to get we're back. We're so but... used to being able to win matches because of individual skills, because the mercenary is this little tactic involved in England. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, that's a big but problem, though. You've got you to gotta look at that, because, like, you, you, that is something which is going to lose you rounds. I mean, even, yeah. even more than tactics and player skills sometimes, because... Uh, it, that can that can come up to that can mean like three or four rounds in a match, and that can decide who wins. So I really, yeah. I've got to recommend that you just make sure everyone knows exactly what to do in every situation with the flag. It's something that just has to be worked on, I think. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was uh, uh, we spent our time telling them, but by the time that happened, everyone. Well, was Menace dead. actually got a good draw out of it. Yeah, I, Menace I what, was the only one alive, wasn't he? Come and speak to me because I think Soto Mercy made a thread uh, on the Towers forums explaining about every single flag situation, and it's a the exact thing that you need, I think. So, speak to me on Steam, and I'll find that for you. And you can send it to your. Oh, that right. sounds interesting. Yeah, that right. does sound interesting. Send to you as well, Aaron. Like the gold <laughs> mechanics, I, I still don't understand <laughs> as well. Oh, forget gold. Just 
spend and try not to run out. <laughs> <laughs> just hope for the best with the gold mechanics. They're just they're too complicated. Unless you're really good oh. at maths. Um, um, anyway, yeah, do questions? you feel that's a yeah, flaw in the game? The, I mean, <laughs> the mechanic itself is beautiful. Actually, no, it's not. It's a bit snowboardy. It's all right. <laughs> but um, but it's 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 badly explained, and that is it's a horrible flaw in the game. There's so many things in Warband which are just not explained well enough. And it, it, you know, the game fails to do itself justice in so many areas because it's such a wonderful game. But so many people are put off or they don't experience it, they don't see how great it is because it's just not shown very well or explained. Oh, mm. you need an official guide. I think it's more, I think in game is more important, personally. <laughs> in game in game guides, in game in game information, don't you think? Or were you, um, or were you yeah, suggesting yeah, it would yeah. be helpful, but <laughs> you if you know you... the stuff, then it can be really annoying. Uh, yeah, I think I know someone who writes official guides, so I see, <laughs> I see what angle you're coming from there. <laughs> There is a manual for the original Mountain Blade, but it's not got Moss Pro anything, I don't think. Um, okay. And, it's like that. No, and no one has it either, so... <laughs> it's not much useful. Um, are there any more questions, Aramwen? Uh, no, I think that was it for me, really. Deb, did you feel that you did better when you played more aggressively? Ah. Mm. Yeah, we did. Um, so did we. I feel we did worse <laughs> yeah. when they played so aggressively. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, when we played defensive, it's just like... We have the uh, we had the aim advantage, obviously, because of um, their amount of cav and archers, and uh, we just when we played defensively, it just didn't work because they just shot us down, or we just either died. But when we said um, charge, we always got a few kills, and it's just easier to finish. It. Yeah, yeah, easier yeah. to finish it if we play aggressive. Yeah, it just puts them under pressure. There's there's so much advantage to aggression. I, mm -hmm. Claire Johnson will talk to you. Um, all day about infantry aggression and what's so valuable. We'll have this joke I've started playing really aggressively right now as well. It's a little tip for you there. You've got to watch out for that. <laughs> um, infantry aggression is uh, it's so big and it's it, it's such an important part of the game because it's it's something which individually I feel like it goes against everything you want to do. You want to back off. You want to find some space. Yeah. And so you got to just fight through that and play aggressive. I think a lot of the time. Yeah. But I did very well and very impressive infantry aggression. Thank you. Yep, yep. Like, uh, really, uh, honestly, you really you, you impressed me. Even if you didn't impress Black Tide. <laughs> <laughs> Black Tide, he can he can go sit down in his IKEA sofa and just yeah, yeah. chill. I think you saw, I think you saw <laughs> chill. That. Yeah. Uh, all right then. Um, I'm probably gonna wrap up there. Is there anything more you want to mention about the game or about the tournament? Maybe something like that. No, not really. Thanks for hosting it. Yeah. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not hosting it, the tournament. But no, but <laughs> the tournament that means. I think happens, Yeah. Well, I'll, okay. If, if there's nothing more to say about the match, then um, we can move to shout outs. I want to give each you a chance to do some shout outs now. Oh, I'll, I'll start. Don't, I'll don't start. Forget, don't, okay. Well, all right. Go for it. But don't, <laughs> but don't forget to mention your Twitter at least one of you anyway. But yeah, Defo, go ahead. Yeah. Oh well, I don't have a Twitter. Um, I, I'm gonna give a big shout out now to to Malik for always being on top. He he really never never loses any skill. So like he's a, he's a great team worker. Sick. Also to my mom. All right. Nice. <laughs> oh, his mom. Uh, <laughs> well, I want to shout out to Bird for so bad always, <laughs> and Katniss for actually waiting there for twelve rounds and still not playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Defoe for waiting sixteen and not oh, playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I said to... though I said though in the beginning like don't play me because. The rest of our players are better than me, and I haven't played too much this past <laughs> week, so I, I, I'd prefer staying in, in spec and making sure we, we might actually win. Yeah, that could have been a wise decision. Like, it was a wise, it was I a wise think, decision. I think it's paid off. It did, it did. Um, and Zombie? Yeah, I want to make a shout out to uh, Monopolis from P.O.P. Because, rest in peace P.O.P. as well. Because they disbanded after W L. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's just... he's been supporting us very very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, follow us on Twitter. <laughs> What's the Twitter then, zombie? Me. Uh, uh, <laughs> wait, hold on, hold on. I forgot my. It's at Agencourt H O A. Yeah, it's at Agencourt H O A. Follow us. Do it. Make sure you follow them. Definitely. Okay. Very do we well have right. a Twitter? <laughs> yeah, we oh do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for streaming uh, last, by the way. Oh. oh. Well. It's my absolute pleasure. And, Shout uh, out to you, bro. <laughs> any any time. Uh, it was a, it was a joy, and it was, it was great to have like the last at least the last sort of regular scheduled weekly matches of the W N L S. The last stream as being uh, so great and so exciting. Really, just a great showcase for the game. 
which I love. So, yeah, that's a good show. That's a good show. Um, pretty sure that shut down the interview there then. So thanks very much for coming to join us. And uh, thank you and, for uh, letting, you, letting us come. Yeah, good night, lads. Yeah, cheers, man. Uh, see you. Good night. good night. See you guys. Monopolis loves you. All right, thanks. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> okay then. Um, and when? Hello. They were a nice bunch. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it must be really fun um, on their TS when they're playing. Everyone likes to win. It's the best. Don't you think? Um? Everyone loves to win. It's the best. Uh, yeah, winning is really great. Um, a bit <laughs> sad that IG didn't win this week. Oh, well, yeah. Oh. You know, you can't win them Next win. time. They had, they had a tough <laughs> opponent. It was, it was a stupid pick. <laughs> no, I think it was... Uh, I think it was a, a brave pick, an honourable pick. <laughs> you should work in PR. Um, <laughs> Aaron Wen. Hello. Any final thoughts, shout outs? This is your chance. Um, yeah, freaky. They're obviously going to end up producing the t shirts soon. So their site up. is still not up. No, it's up, it's up, it's up, it's up. Oh, it is. Oh, I hadn't seen that. Yep. Um, they yeah, didn't let me know. Was it freaky? Dot is it is it dot com? It was dot com, I think. Ooh, but in it's dot com, yeah. With a ph though, as you can see on the screen there on the right, with the little zombie. Oh, freaky excellent! Zombie. So everybody should go and have a look at freaky. their yeah. um, t-shirts, and they're really helpful. And you can produce your own design, and they will tweak it for you. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, so even like after you've produced the design, it's all up and everything. Um, individually, they will like move stuff around if you want it. That is very um, cool. Do it however you want it. That's yeah, nice. and change the colours and whatever. They're really, really good. That's wicked. Um, yeah, I just want to mention that it was Archivist's birthday in a few days, so happy birthday, Pemberley okay. Tapis. Many Archivist. Happy returns, yeah. And, and, and let's name the WNL admins as well. Um, Deacon, Scar, Rennie and Farms because they've done a great job. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have laughed when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> they have done a very good job. If only they would update the league tables a little bit faster. I feel like Scar's custom title might need another little bit of, uh, bit of adjustment if he doesn't get those uh, tables up to date. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, the only reason I was laughing was because you were complaining about them not having updated the table. But they have done a great job and it's it's um it's a difficult job and it's, uh, it's a lot incredibly time consuming and it's they they, yeah. they they get paid nothing they work through passion and love and they they've done a brilliant job with this w now it's been so exciting and um looking forward to the finals even though i think it might be a bit of a done deal don't want to ruin the tension but <laughs> no but well i i want to see the match and i want to see every single round no matter how it goes <laughs> well let's see i think they might just stop playing to be honest themselves uh, in the final but um we're definitely going to be bringing that to you on MBTV. There's no way we're going to miss that for the world. So I look forward for to seeing it. And yeah. when, I want to say heartfelt thanks for coming along to the stream again. You always bring huh? so much joy and wonder to these streams. <laughs> well, thanks. I'm it's a pleasure every time. To be asked. Well, you should be honoured, obviously. It's a fantastic institution that you're able to be a part of, MBTV. <laughs> 550 Steam group members in just a you know, week and a half or so. Not bad, eh? Yeah, well done. Do join the Steam group, and uh, if you're already in the Steam group, invite everyone on your friends list, like Iron One did, and uh, we'll get another couple of members. <laughs> Thanks for that, by the way. Yeah, well, a lot of them aren't <laughs> war fan players. Well, they will be after Maybe they, they, they after they be. see these streams. That's the whole point. Exactly. Do your bit for the scene. Okay, I think whilst it would be my pleasure to talk to you all night, we have to <laughs> shut down the stream eventually at some point. So um, yeah, good night. Got to say thank you very much. Yeah, and good night. <laughs>